Hey all, the practitioner here. Um, this is now the end of the uh, of the real or fake video of it. Um, I'll be posting this as a video response to the real or fake, so this way you can see the answer. Um, I'd like before I get to the answer though, uh, which is actually posted over here, so you can get her exact boob size. Um, I'm going to read out the most critical and effective comment that actually came on this uh, video. Um, let me see here. Uh, anon um, sorry. Okay, that's anonymous uh, tw uh, 247 N. But let me see specifically where it is. Uh, ah, here it is. Yes, Fat Lingen wrote, Well, while we are encouraged to be critical, we must consider that the photo uh, probably has been worked on to remove any imperfections. And one of those could be the boobs. I guess she never had any plastic surgery done to her boobs. But they look, but that they look more solid uh, than boobs usually look around that age and at that angle due to photoshopping. I think her left boob, our right, would hang more uh, to the right due to gravity. Very, very astute, Fat Lingen, and that is precisely the sort of thing I was trying to uh, uh, watch for. Um, in fact, uh, if you actually watch the, um, if you wa uh, watch any of uh, the shows that she stars in, uh, particularly, I would watch recommending, I would re recommend watching Flash Gordon, the 2007 series. You'll find that her boobs actually sag a bit more than are shown in the photos, and uh, that her, you know she's not actually, uh, um, you know, again. The, her boobs are real. They're not. Uh, they're, they haven't had plastic surgery. But Fat Lincoln got the answer. There, there has been a bit of work done, shall we say, to the photo. Her exact size is 36C, and it's posted in the link over here. Now, the reason I had you guys walk through this exercise of trying to figure out whether or not uh, her boobs were real or fake, based on her body shape, the size, um, critical thinking beyond the edge, is that um, there is in fact a practical skill that can be used from this. If you are mugged, or if you happen to go into a store or something like that. Um, you know, if you happen to witness a robbery, or if you walk, uh, if you go into a store and you know see, uh, you know, see somebody getting robbed, or happen to witness uh, get mugged, or what have you, being able to tell somebody's proportions and stuff like that, you know, uh, being able to tell somebody's proportions, their height, their build, uh, exactly what their hair color is, you know, being able to critically watch for that sort of thing can be extremely effective, and that it can help the police. Um, uh, that, that's the very, pra that's the the most practical aspect of you know being able to tell uh, people's proportions and stuff like that. But there is a more, um, but that being said, there is a more um, general approach of, uh, of what I'm trying to train you guys here. And that's not just to be able to read body proportions, but I'm trying to train you to uh, have a, cr a more critical eye. Uh, I'm, trying to have you guys, I'm trying to train you guys to have a more critical eye at what you see. This is to be able, um, uh, you know, for those of you who are my regular subscribers and on my friends list, the bulk of you already are critical thinkers, so this probably won't be a problem. But for those of you, uh, but... You know, but the, consider this a, a useful review and refresher. But for those of you who, um, for those of you who are new to my video and may not uh, for, to my video list and may not necessarily uh, uh, have been exposed to critical thinking and stuff like that, sometimes often the most effective clues, which can tell whether someone is uh, trying to fool you or an illusion, are often right in front of you, but often get missed. Um, for example, in advertising, a large chunk of the subliminal. Um, a large chunk of the stuff like the product placement and stuff like that, or or the uh, or the uh, the techniques like sex sells and stuff like that. Those clues were often very subtle, but right in front of you. So if you can have a more critical eye to watch for detail like that and deduce what they're uh, and deduce what's actually going on here, like Fat Lingen managed to do, uh, that will serve you well. In a uh, that will serve you well when you're dealing with advertisements, media relations. Um, you know, as a general skill for being able to try to delve beneath the surface and using critical thinking in day-to-day -day life. Anyway, I hope that explains reasonably well uh, why I developed that exercise for you. Um, the next series of videos will be me uh, doing some newer magic tricks, um, and uh, at the same time, I what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to debunk them. Um, uh, what will happen? Is, um, well, uh, I'm not going to post the solutions for these. Um, if you want the actual solution, private message me with what you think is the answer, and I'll get, tell you whether you're right or not, or tell you the real answer if you're wanting to really get it. Um, but the next ones will be an exercise in. Um, uh, I don't, and I don't want you guys again peeking, you know, trying to look for the solutions online. I want you guys to honestly try to take a look at the illusions and you know take a look at the magic and stuff like that, and actually try to figure out what it is I'm doing. Um, you know, the, the more keen an eye you have, the uh, you know the better. The more keen an eye you have in general, the better it will serve you. Um, just you know, trying to handle things in society. So, you know, uh, just, you know, the, the, it's that whole keen eye and um, as Sherlock Holmes said, um, the uh, the three great things that make a detective: the um, uh, uh, um, a wide database of knowledge, uh, the ability of observation, and the ability of logical deduction. So I'm uh, like I said. 
Uh, for the bulk of you guys, I'm expecting that quite a few of you who are watching my videos already have the knowledge, uh, and I suspect that you have quite well the eye of keen deduction. Now I'm just trying to get your eyes of keen observation. Now I'm just trying to uh, train. Uh, now I'm just trying to give some puzzles and scenarios for keen observation. Um, for those of you who don't have the knowledge background, uh, message me and I'll give you the knowledge background. So for the next few, you might be able to start figuring out the rest of the techniques. Okay, this is the uh, the starting of my next education section on critical thinking. I hope you enjoyed the uh, last puzzle. Toodles.